Hi, I'm Dr. M. Kamakshaya, open source software evangelist, and also I'm also a full stack uh, developer. In today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, open uh, R Shiny applications uh, using R Studio. So, to understand this video, you should know both R and R Studio, and you should also ensure R R Studio installed properly in your Windows operating system. Um, suppose you want to uh, know about Shiny applications, you can go to the browser and search for Shiny Gallery, something like that, or you can also search like Shiny Examples. So when you go to the Shiny, they have a lot of applications, I mean these are all sample applications written by somebody that just like you and me, and there are very complex and highly interactive applications, just like uh, as they are shown in this uh, Shiny shiny.rstudio.com gallery. Uh, I'm going to show you one very s very simple application. It is known as a single file shiny application. So when you click on these applications they will be re redirected to some other uh, place and you see here it is a very small file. It has relatively very, very few number of uh, statements in this uh, application. Uh, uh, most importantly, uh, I mean you need to know what is a shiny application. Obviously you will be knowing what is shiny application. If you are watching this video it simply means that you wanted to do something with shiny application and you may be knowing uh, that there are two uh, different parts inside a shiny application just like UI and server. UI stands for the user interface and server will take care of the logic. There are many ways to uh, execute the Shiny applications using RStudio. We can uh, obtain these applications as uh, as in uh, part, just like part 1 has UI and part 2 has server. And I always advise you to keep both of these parts inside a single file. Uh, that is known as the single file Shiny app, something like that. Okay, that is one thing. And the other thing is... Uh, at top of this application right side you will find get code when you press on this button it will re redirect you to the github github is one of the very famous uh, software development platforms um, i have quite a few applications uh, on my github uh, portal uh, it shows there are roughly 12 applications and i'm going to show i'm going to open one of the sample applications uh, on my portal that is bac uh, i call backhat something like that. This is a blockchain. This application I've written for the people who is engaging in uh, blockchain and the cryptocurrency area. Now there are different, uh, you need to find, you, you should be able to find a file something like this, bcat or as something like this. This is the file which we need in order to open, in order to make you, in order to use this application. Uh, there are different ways to obtain this file. One way, a very simple way is to click on that file and you will be able to find a button draw here and now this code will be converted into a simple uh, text file. You can just copy paste or you can just go to the browser and save as something like that. And uh, there is another way which I like the most because it is better to get the entire repo instead of a single file. Uh, you see I have a few material associated with this, this file. You can go to this green button and then down download zip something like this you press on this button then you'll be able to download these files as in the form of a compressed uh, uh, archive you see i've installed winrar zip archive inside my operating system now when you right click extract here or extract to bsat or as something like this then you will be able to f produce a directory like this and when you go inside you'll see you'll find the same stuff that you had seen a couple of seconds before the same material now you have inside your computer which you have observed on my repository now as i said this is the file which we need the, the same file you can find inside the directory here it is bsea.trs.org or something like that in my computer this file is associated uh, file association was done appropriately and this file is being recognized as uh, our program in my computer if it is not then you can go ahead and press this button open with uh, since it is if it is associated like this then you can just right click and press ok open 
Now this file will be opened inside our studio just like this. This is a script file which you which we need to uh, execute. Now after you get this script file inside our studio and by the way you, you need to ensure R and R studio properly installed in your operating system. I'm 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 producing this demonstration uh, in my Windows 6 uh, Windows 7 I'm sorry it's not 6 now once you open this script script file inside our studio editor then you should be able to find something like I'm sorry I think it is already open somewhere I think I guess no it is not open it, is, it says reload I don't know why okay it is reload app now let me okay anyway this is not the way it uh, looks like you know let me again close this and open I'll show you how to open the file also go to the same directory where your file is available then your file gets open like this. yeah you should be able to find a button like this run the app then press on this then your file will be opened inside our studio browser I don't know there is something wrong with my computer Now launch this application by simply pressing on this run app button. Now you see here down the bottom of your, now the application will be launched like this. So this is actually opened inside RStudio. It is still inside RStudio because this is a browser, uh, the internal uh, browser tool of uh, RStudio. One, you want, if you want to take this application to your uh, default web browser of the operating system then you need to press this button to say open in browser then it will straight away go to the the browser uh, and where you can just start using this okay thanks for watching this video this is for this uh, video cast uh, stay tuned for the new content uh, press like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel thank you